everyone. Welcome back to Zoom Kids Live. We are so excited for what we have to share with you today. If you've never been a part of this, you're gonna play a fun game today. We are gonna worship God, but most importantly, we are gonna learn and get closer to God together. So grab your Bible, get ready, because today we're talking all about how the Holy Spirit gives us boldness. So let's get ready. Here we go. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Zoom Kids Live. We are so excited to hang out with you for a bit today. If you've been trailing with us, we are smack in the middle of our big idea called Out of the Box, which simply means to live a spirit-filled life. So we've been kind of talking about how to do that and we've also included some Bible stories which have been really cool. And today we have a pretty cool story talking about how this guy was kind of nervous to, to go out and share Jesus with other people and he got really bold and then he did that and he wasn't afraid of it anymore. It was really cool. Um, you know, normally if you've, if you've been trailing with us um, throughout our other videos, I have a co-host that is normally out here by now. Normally he just interrupts what I'm saying. Um, Carter, you, hey, you are coming out here, right? I can see you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Are you, is there a reason why you have sheets of paper? Yes. Are you going to say anything? No. Um, can you, can you explain why you're not speaking? Yes. Okay, great. Explain why you are not speaking. No, Carter, you just said that you were going to. Why don't you just use use your mouth, your words, and just explain to us what chicken. Um, that doesn't, do you have any other words in there? Or is it just yes, no, or chicken? Is it just yes, no, or chicken? It's just yes, no, or chicken. Okay, um, so you're not just, you're not just gonna speak? No. Can you try and like tell me why? Like maybe through charades or something? Chicken. Oh my goodness. Okay, just let it out. And we speak. And we're still on no. Okay, Carter, have I ever steered you wrong? What? When? That was one time and that was a very big mistake. I may or may not have been holding the map upside down. And it came out of nowhere. The chicken coop, it just came out of nowhere. And we're still on chicken. Okay, so you're not gonna say anything else besides yes, no, or chicken? No. All right. Um. Whoa, Carter, look out there. There's a Labradoodle selling Dippin' Dots. What? That's on my top 10 list of things to see before I kick the bucket. <laughs> he speaks. What? No! <laughs> well, Carter, we, and you know, we, we try not to really talk about things like kicking the bucket. Oh, no, 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 not, not like that, not like that guy. Okay. There's, a, there's a bucket that sits outside of my house, and I promised myself I would do these 10 things before I ever kick that bucket. But one day, I'm going to kick it. Interesting. So... Are you gonna explain that now that you're speaking? I already did. You did not. Carter, you've only said yes, no, or chicken for like the past, I don't know, like few minutes. Five exactly. Minutes. Chicken. No, we're so all that needs oh, okay. to be said. Chicken. Chicken. Chicken is all that needs to be said. Yes. There can be like countless reasons why you have a chicken sign. Like you I am. You are you are a chicken? Yes. I mean, I'm not an actual chicken. That would be absurd. Don't laugh at me. I'm not going to laugh at you. You're already laughing Sorry. at me. I'm afraid of public speaking. What? See, you don't laugh. No, Carter, it's just you do this whole public speaking thing all the time. What? When? Like every Sunday. I like, I mean, we're kind of doing it right now. I mean, and you've been totally oh. fine. I guess I am. Wow. Okay, and you know, like, 
what our Bible point for today is says that the Holy Spirit gives us boldness. It does. Yeah. Oh. So we don't need to be we don't need to be afraid. Don't need to be afraid of chickens. Nope. Nope. I'm not afraid of chickens. No, we don't need to be afraid of chickens. Wait, so why, really, really quick, um, why, why were you afraid of like the public speaking thing? Like what brought that on? Oh, I signed up for a, a preschool reading thing to do for, for preschoolers. So, so you're, you're afraid of preschoolers? Hey, I was in preschool or, once. It'd be a scary place. Preschoolers are awesome. <laughs> why did you sign up for it if you didn't really want to do it. Oh, I thought it said preschool eating, as in you get to eat extra stuff before school. So I'm okay. 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 So. All right. Okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> I've got to go change some things, and so I'll be. Don't be afraid, everybody. Don't be a chicken. All right. See you All right um. So like like I was saying beforehand about our story that we're going to be talking about. Wait a second. What do you need to change? Uh, well, you, there, your horn might make a different sound, so I'm gonna go change that. Like what sound? Well, you know those toys where you like push a button or pull a string and it says a different phrase every time? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna do that so I could use your horn to talk for me. Oh my gosh. Carter, I have to drive in that. Not okay, dude. Not okay. Time to get running with Aerie. Alright everyone, today we are going to get running with Ari. We are going to do some different fun runs together. So get up, off your couch, and let's get moving. Our first run is going to be a super fast run. Alright, so we'll be right back up against the spot. Robot run! It's time for the slow motion run! Time to run with purpose. So right, get your purpose face and show the purpose face. And run like a superhero. Time to fly! Alright, you might need a partner for this one, maybe. Or just put your arms out and pretend you're flying. Here we go! Oh. Hands. 
everybody, it's game time! Today's game is called, What's in the Box? So as you can guess, you're gonna have to guess what's in the box. We each are gonna take turns getting 20 seconds to feel what is inside the box. One of us will know what's in the box, but the other one who's feeling it will not. And we have to try and describe it to you in 20 seconds so that you guys can try to guess what it is. At the end of 20 seconds, we will get to guess. And if we don't get it right, we have to eat a certain amount of Smarties all at the same time at the end of the game. <laughs> all right, you guys ready? Let's play! All right, here we go, guys. Okay. Okay. Um, it's long-ish, and skinny-ish, and, oh, rubbery, yep, it's rubbery, and stretchy, and soft, <laughs> and, uh, like, it has, like, one end that seems to be open, and, yep. okay. I'm gonna guess this is a one of those long skinny balloon things. Yeah! yeah. All right, so I feel it. Is it rubbery? Flat? Oh, it's kind of wet. Oh, it is kind of wet. It's like you can pull it apart and it's spent it. But it's kind of thick too. Time! I am going to guess this is an inflatable ball. Yeah! It's a beach ball! <laughs> it's a beach ball! <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Uh, ugh. It's kind of poke, like, bumpy. And it's like, oh, it breaks apart. Um, and it's kind of soft, not soft, but like you could squish it if you wanted to. Um, I think it might be some sort of food. Time's up. Could I take a bite out of it? <laughs> I don't know, it could be dirt. Could I guess a cookie of some sort? Oh, it's oh, like a bar. <laughs> oh, half a bar, gross. Right, this is actually pretty big. Okay, so it's big, it feels plastic on the top. There's like two little things hanging out from the one side. There's like a, oh, I think, ah, uh, maybe. So it's round for the feel leaking of it. Time. Okay, I'm gonna guess, is this an alarm clock? Yeah, you got what? it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Ugh, what? It's soft. It's, it's, it's like rubbery. Almost like a worm. It feels like a worm. And it's squishy. And it like is flat, squishy, and curved on one side. How curved is this? And then it's like thicker, like a gummy worm. Time's up. Uh, oh man, really? Sort of like chewy candy? <laughs> oh! It is a worm! No, it's not worm. It's like a bait. Fishing bait. Okay, this is, feels like a stuffed animal of some sort. But there's some rubber on it. And there's like something hanging out of it. And it's squishy. It's fuzzy. And. I have no idea. It's a Time! Like Ah! <laughs> it's just like a stuffed bird. Close. Close. It's a pineapple it's bird. A pineapple. Well, thanks for playing with us today, guys. Hopefully, you guessed some of these items better than I did. You, you did pretty good, though. Yeah. Okay. All right, now it's time to eat our Smarties. Well, we clearly underestimated how much a packet of Smartie was. Smarties were. Mm -hmm. uh, so we cut this to about half of what we were gonna say, and this is still a crazy amount of Smarties that we are about to put into our mouths. Yep. You guys ready? Here we go. Is this like a taco? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 
Oh, 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 Welcome to the Pirate Bible Stories! Today we have a great Bible story for you, so get ready and let's see what's happening. Give me your best R. R. Hey, Peter! Hey, Don! Let's go to the temple! Hey, look over there! It's a beggar and he's lame! He can't walk! Help! Money! Ah! You want some money? Do you have any money? Um... No! Um... Silver or gold we do not have. Even though we be pirates. But what we have we give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get up and walk! I can walk! It's a miracle! Wow! Hey! Isn't that the guy who is lame? No, it couldn't be. He's walking around. Hey, you! Are you the guy that was lame? I was. But then these guys came over and they healed me. And now I can walk and I can run. How did they do this? Well, they said that, like in the name of the power of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, that I would be able to walk again. And then I just stood up and I haven't stopped walking since. Praise God! Hi. Wait. Are you the guys that healed that lame man? Yes, we healed him in the name of Jesus. Jesus came and he walked among the earth and he died on the cross. Oh, he did? No, he rose again and now he lives in heaven. And he died to save you. Wow. They healed this man. But the religious leaders, they were not too pleased with Peter and John. So they came to them. Hey, uh, Peter and John, you guys need to stop talking about Jesus. Arr! We will never stop talking about Jesus. He is the savior of the world. Well, then, we're gonna, uh... Throw him in prison. Yes, we throw you in prison. So, Peter and John stayed in prison until the next morning. All right, you guys, we have decided, you know, as the chief priests and people of the teaching of the law, to ask you this one simple question. By what power did you do this miracle? It is by Jesus' power and the power of the Holy Spirit that we preach with boldness and we proclaim this good news of Jesus Christ. Well then, we threaten you and tell you to stop telling people about Jesus! Arrgh! Um, let me think about that. No. Uh, uh... Praise Jesus! Peter and John healed the man! The crowd was so filled with amazement that the chief priests, the teachers of the law, didn't know what to do. So they let Peter and John go. Yay! Then, Peter and John joined the other believers and prayed together. Wow, you guys are free from prison! That's awesome! Yes, it's very, very awesome. Now, let's pray. And as they prayed, the whole place was shaken. Wow! Guys, we were just filled with the Holy Spirit. Let's go speak God's word with boldness! Wow! And so, all the believers were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began to tell anyone who would listen about God's love for them. The end. Arrgh! Baby bubble bits, baby bubble bits, baby bubble, baby bubble, baby bubble bits, baby bubble bits, baby bubble bits, baby bubble, baby bubble, baby bubble bits. Welcome to baby bubble bits. I'm the baby. Here comes the bubble bits. What up? All right. Today's story is found in the book of Acts. And now I don't mean acts like this. I mean acts like this. Act it out. 
So Peter and other disciples are in the room and they got filled with the Holy Spirit. And then Peter gets up and he starts preaching to thousands of people. He's like, Jesus is the best. He died and he rose again. Yeah, so he had boldness and the Holy Spirit gave that to him. Then one day, Acts chapter three, Peter and some of the other disciples are walking along. They see this guy who couldn't walk since birth. And so the guy's like, hey, you got any money for me? And Peter's like, yo, silver or gold, I don't have. But what I have, I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get up and walk, yo. And the guy got up and walked. <gasps> and then the guy wouldn't stop talking about what Peter and the disciples did for him and talking about Jesus. And the religious leaders were upset. They're like, yo, stop talking about what Jesus did for you. Yo, it, ooh, my hand tastes good. Stop talking about what Jesus did for you, man. You don't need to do that. And, but the guy's like, no, I gotta keep talking about it. I gotta tell everyone about it. And then they went to Peter and they're like, hey, you, stop talking about Jesus. And Peter's like, I will not stop. There's nothing that you can do to stop me. I have boldness. The Holy Spirit gives me boldness to share about Jesus. That's right. And that's our story for today. Sing with me, everybody. Baby bubble bits, baby bubble bits, baby bubble, baby bubble, baby bubble bits. Woo! Wow, what a story that we got to see and experience from the Bible today. The Bible is God's word, and it speaks so powerfully to us when we choose to listen. So, Acts chapter 1, verse 8 says, you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you'll be my witnesses to Jerusalem, to Judea, to Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. That's the mission that God gave his disciples, that they will be his witnesses when the Holy Spirit comes on them and they'll receive that power to do that. And that power that we're talking about today through the Holy Spirit is to speak with boldness. So this story, if you didn't catch it, from Acts chapter three and four, how what happens is Peter and John go to the temple to pray, and this man is sitting outside the temple gate. And he's sitting there, he's begging for money because that's all that he can do. He's brought there every day to beg for money. And, and he looks at them and says, please, can you give me something, anything? And Peter looks at them and says, look at me. And the guy's like, okay, I'll look at you. And he's expecting to get something. And, and Peter says, I don't have silver or gold. I don't have any money to give to you. But what I do have, I give to you now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. And he takes the man by the hand. And as he's pulling him up, his legs, his ankles, his feet begin to strengthen. And the man begins to walk. And he begins to praise God, telling everybody what happened to him. And this huge commotion starts. And so Peter seizes this opportunity. And he begins to tell them that Jesus was born as a baby. He was God's son. He lived a perfect life, but he died on the cross. He did that because he loves you and me. And then three days later, he rose again. He begins to tell this whole story of Jesus, telling them about God's love for them and what God has done for them. And people are amazed. Not everyone. There were a few people, the priests and the teachers of the religious law, tried to put a stop to this, right? They bring Peter before them and they're like, you guys, you need to stop telling people about Jesus. So in chapter four, Peter then filled with the Holy Spirit in verse eight, tells them Jesus is the one that gave us the power to do that. And Jesus can change your life but they still don't like it. And they're like, well, I don't know what to do, that people like him, but, but we don't believe what he is saying. And so they basically say, you gotta stop this. I know everybody saw that he was healed, but stop telling them it was through Jesus's power and stop talking about Jesus altogether, just quit it. And so verse 21, chapter four says, after further threats, they let them go and they couldn't decide how to punish them because all the people were praising God for what had happened. So then Peter and John are released and they go back to the other Christians and they begin to pray together. And that says this, verse 31, after they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly or with boldness. And that's what I want you to catch and remember today is that Peter and John were able to do what they did 
because they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, I, I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes when I've gone to tell people about Jesus, maybe that I don't know, but I feel like, man, I just need to tell them about God's love. Sometimes I've gotten a little scared. What if they don't believe me? What if, what if they don't like me? What if they don't agree with me? And I start filling my head with all these what ifs. And the Holy Spirit can give you boldness. That's what we're talking about today. But here's what they did. They prayed. And when they prayed, God listened to them and gave them boldness to share with people about his love. Now, I, I brought something with me today. I, I, I brought a little jar here. Now, this is a, an empty jar, as you can see. And we are going to simply fill it up with, with some water here, all right? Let's fill it up. That's good enough. Now, when the Holy Spirit comes into our lives, it allows us to have boldness, but it also allows us to do other things. So like Peter and John healed that man through God's power, through being able to speak in Jesus' name, and that Holy Spirit worked through them to do something amazing. So let's say, let's say we put this, this card right here on top here. And let's say, what if we try to tip over the cup? Now, what if we moved our hand do you think the card would stay? Could we do some? <gasps> when we're filled with the Holy Spirit, we're able to do something amazing. Amazing to, to defy gravity with this card. Now, would it be even more amazing if I could remove this card and open the glass and nothing come out? Let's see if we can make that. <gasps> Whoa. We are defying gravity right now. The, the glass is open, but nothing is coming out. When we're filled with the Holy Spirit, we are able to do things that we might not have been able to do before. One of those things that we're able to do is to share with boldness, to use that power, the Holy Spirit giving us the confidence and the right words to say to tell other people about God's love. Now, you might think this is just a trick, and it is. Wait a but that is simply just a little illustration to help you remember that when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, just like that was filled with water, gives us power to do great things for God. It gives us power to share with boldness. So, don't be afraid. Tell other people about what God has done for you, because it's pretty amazing. But just like Peter and the other disciples, the other Christians did, we need to remember to pray. They prayed and then they were filled with boldness. So let's do that. Would you pray with me? God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for this story that encourages us. And God, I pray that everyone watching this video, all of us, that we would be filled with your Holy Spirit and that you would work through us and in us to give us boldness to share our faith, to share about your love, wherever we go. God, give us that boldness. Give us your Holy Spirit, that power to do the amazing things, to be a witness for you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today at Zoom Kids Live. We had so much fun. We did. We hope that you learned that the Holy Spirit can give you boldness to share with others about <laughs> Jesus. Right. Remember at, at Zoom Kids Live, our goal is to go further, faster, and closer in our relationship with God <laughs> right. and others. So make sure that you get ready because we are going to come in person July 5th at church, all right, at all of our campuses. Check that out. We can't wait to see you guys. But right now, make sure you click on subscribe here if you haven't already. And make sure to check out one of the other videos that we posted too. And we'll see you next time.